There's nothing more important for business, and therefore the members of the Regional Business Council, than a professional, talented, capable, diverse workforce. We need to create opportunities for people of diverse backgrounds and diverse experiences to come to St. Louis and that they can have business growth um, and that will allow us to then grow our companies. Inclusion and diversity are, are things that I think that are critical for all businesses right now. Well that's a perfect reason for the RBC to be interested in diversity, to help us as members build a more diverse workforce. I think it's a sign of progressive communities when they can offer up a diverse workforce. Customer base is diverse today, um, the supplier base is diverse, so having a workforce that looks like your customers, thinks like your customers, thinks like your suppliers, uh, all those contribute to uh, superior business performance. The RBC really needs to be uh, provide leadership in this area. It's, it's not only a key issue in our society, it's a key issue in the economy, it's a key issue in our businesses, it's a key issue in governance, it's a key issue in every aspect of our lives. And if we're going to make sure that we're involved in issues that are going to make a difference for businesses and for the region and for the area and to make sure we're prepared and help our businesses get prepared, then we've got to be in the middle of the diversity issue. I think that everybody's coming to the table ready to be more inclusive. So when you step into a new a, a company and you're looking at your peers, it's not the standard makeup of what you might have seen 20 years ago. And I think people are becoming a little bit more accepting of the fact that diversity of thought is going hand in hand with the direction of our nation and our country. If you look at the membership of the Young Professionals Network, it's just a, a fantastic uh, array of, of ambitious, professional, uh, well-educated, articulate, uh, really I think the bright spots for St. Louis's future and, and representing a, a very wide cross-section of the region's talent uh, and demographic and I think that alone is, is great reason for someone like me being new to the area uh, to want to be a part of that same group. I think it's an amazing opportunity for young professionals in the community to interact with other professionals and also find ways to give back to the community. It's helped them to uh, increase their social networking skills, uh, their appreciation for philanthropic and cultural issues in our region. We actually look at it as an extension of our leadership development program for our young minority professionals. It's vibrant. It's a gathering that is, uh, that is continually growing and to see these connections that are being made, not only professional connections, but business connections that are gonna keep people in the community, it's just really exciting to be a part of it. We're surprised to see how many people are in this community uh, with a diverse background. Uh, and then, uh, you know, putting all us together, uh, it's very exciting. Uh, and I think that's what the young professionals do. Gives you the opportunity to meet other people, um, to see their successes, uh, to connect. Not only are you able to do some fun social networking activities, but you have community involvement as well with some of the RBC companies, but you get to meet CEOs and presidents of companies that are here and international, which is a great thing. You know, every year I've done the Young Professionals uh, roundtables, and every year I look forward to it because I've got a group of 10 or 12 young people who I get to talk to nonstop for two hours about our business and our community. When you think about the accomplishments that the YPN has, have achieved in just a short period of time, and I look at some of my friends in other cities, I, I feel like you know we're progressing at a, a much faster rate. And it's just because of programs like the YPN. We currently have five employees that are members of the Young Professional Network. What's really neat is when they go to an event, is they come back, they have the positive feeling that they experience at the event. They recognize St. Louis is a wonderful place to work. They recognize that their employers really want them to be here. I am delighted that uh, one of our young minority professionals who has been in this program, participated in this program from inception, uh, has recently been promoted to partner in our firm, and I'm very proud of that. When you think about the whole process of the transfer of, uh, of leadership that's taking place over the country, I think the YPN is right in the center of taking, taking um, charge of that and making sure St. Louis is right where it needs to be. You go through the expense of attracting somebody with a unique set of skills to come work for you. Uh, your next challenge then is keeping them uh, happy. And part of that is what happens on the job, but a, a very large part of that is their view of the community 
and the type of life they can create for themselves in this community. And, and the Young Professional Network is a great tool for those companies um, to show a side of the region to their employees that they might not otherwise see. One of the issues is just catering to young professionals, convincing them maybe to stay in St. Louis. I definitely believe that the, the YPN uh, has filled a niche and it really goes back to their association with the RBC. Once again, you can have social uh, engagements, you can have those that have community service driven, and then you can have those that are business segments. I, I always like to look at it as, you know, you can be an accountant and you're part of your accounting associations, or if you're in the legal field, you're a part of your legal associations, but being a part of the YPN and the RBC really has allowed me to see not only my related field, but others as well. What I've been really excited about is the capacity and the energy of the young professionals in the network. They uh, really want to get back to St. Louis. They want to get involved. They've got all kinds of ideas. And frankly, I would find St. Louis is very receptive to that. The RBC was the spark that created this young professionals network. And this network all of a sudden has become a, a vibrant group unto itself and it continues to grow. All of these individuals make excellent spokespeople and ambassadors uh, for the cause of diversity within their own organizations, and I think that's a, an incredibly powerful testimony. People at the young age of their, uh, the young stage of their careers, have a really vested interest in making this region more vibrant because they're going to be here a long time. Um, so the the energy and passion that they'll bring to helping implement a solution is a lot greater. Being in St. Louis, you know, as a professional for 10 years now. I've never in my life seen such a connection that's taken place. And everybody sitting around the table is excited about it. And that's what excites me. It's not just the YPNs themselves, it's also the leaders in the company. And we see the potential, we see the value that the YPN is, uh, is actually providing to the city of St. Louis. So as a young professional myself, it gives me the incentive to go out here and want to do some great things for my company, do some great things for St. Louis, and once again, just continue to connect with these individuals because when we look back you know, 30, 40 years from now, we could say that we were a part of the, the foundation of what started this huge movement in St. Louis of connecting young professionals and just to be in the center of that is really exciting.